Hi guys, it's um, Beck here from Enlightened with Essential Oils. Let me move this over my way. I've just been listening to one of my uni lectures and I just needed a break. Um, so I thought I would bring you something that I've been working on, which I did a video on and then I didn't like the video and so I thought I'd reshoot the video and see how I go. But <laughs> what the crazy cool thing is, is that I've actually now also tested some of the products inside and they are beautiful they are my favorite new thing i don't know if i can make more or what but oh my word i can probably make it again absolutely but <sighs> i feel so tough with myself for making these particular products because i, I, <laughs> I literally just be walking around the house feeling my skin I'm like oh, my skin is so soft and it's so beautiful okay so I have to show you now so I made this beautiful packaging and there's a few items inside one of them just fell over them um, and we gave these to people for Christmas um, as a thank you gift for an appreciation for being amazing basically just being a really cool contributing human being in the lives of my children and my family really so i picked these boxes up surprisingly from um a bakery um like a wholesaling bakery they were really inexpensive and i love the idea of having a clear panel so that the people could see inside and then i picked up these stickers i have a a cricket maker um, but the time it takes to print a sticker like this as opposed to just going to one of those two dollar shops and, and buying like ten of them was <laughs> Next to nothing like two dollars for a whole panel of ten Merry Christmas stickers that were really beautiful golden foil ones was just like Damn, baby. I'm just gonna buy them instead of printing them and put like, you know doing all of the <laughs> All the extra work that was required. So they are really cool stickers Okay, so the first product I want to show you is um, the first one we worked on and we worked on this first because um, we didn't know how long it would take to be ready and we wanted to make sure that the soap was cured and ready so I've just told you what I've made we made these beautiful blocks of soap and I grow calendula so we put calendula on some and also I had some rose hip um, little like exfoliant pieces that I, I put on some as well but this was like a really beautiful um it's just like a really beautiful natural soap not was is and because of christmas i had all these beautiful cute little christmas tree molds which we ended up having to put a whole bunch of olive oil in to make it easier so it did discolor on the back so but that's no no drama because we have heaps of these left over and um i put some in our shower and this is what i've been using in my shower these little soaps um because you go to the shop bought store um sh like and they've got titanium etda i think it is what it's called or um trick blah 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 whatever all those long names I, I i used to know them very well i used to investigate ingredients because i was like some of these ingredients lists most people are aware these days are parabens and all of that but the um there's a lot of in cosmetics these days um titanium dioxide and um something edta i think it's oh, wow i've actually lost it off the top of my head but um a lot of these products are, are related back to nervous system disorders so it may not happen overnight but obviously if you use these products over a period of time and you find yourself with some kind of you know little things that are going on for your health over a long period of time then you know they're, they're the kinds of things that i think i like to avoid and also i don't like to support companies that use like petrochemicals and stuff like that because it just perpetuates the environmental issues that we have today as well so i mean i can't say that i'm um one of those big 
um, you know, environmental activist that's all about climate change. That's definitely not who I am. Um, but I'm definitely about seven generations. So I'm definitely about using as many natural things in earth that can go back to earth composting you know nature back to nature um which i think contributes to whatever i'm raging on about um which is the climate change issue apparently so whether that is um a real thing or not real thing the discussion is still ongoing so these soaps, I'll tell you what I put in them in a second after I've gone through them, but they are, they smell very natural. They don't, I, I did put essential oils into the soap, um, but I think because a lot of people are so used to those, um, they are very petrochemically created synthetic kind of perfume, perfume kind of just like scents that they put into lots of these kind of products um, that it um kind of is quite strong but for me using natural uh young living essential oils in my soaps um it kind of felt like it was cons like I, I would have had to use a lot more to get uh the same kind of potent aroma that those synthetic aromas give so my soap smell very natural with a very low element of essential oil, even though I put a lot of essential oil in. It just kind of like got, I guess, consumed by the, whatever the chemical, um, you know, the way that it all just like operates together. The emulsification, the way that different elements are probably porous and just like, consume other things if you get what i mean it's probably something chemistry orientated that i'm not really up on <laughs> so um we also made these beautiful um shower steamers um and they smell amazing they are absolutely beautiful so some um most people got two because we made two different um aromas and then we also did this was made that was made by but uh, both of the um, my boys they sat there and put the ingredients together i gave them the recipe and we went through it together and yeah so i'm not really a big fan of using um the plastic by the way but um i really didn't have any other choice because it was such a a, a product that couldn't really like i probably could have used some kind of paper bag but I don't know and I feel like it would have just stuck to the inside of it whereas this I feel like once you tap it it'll just all come out so there was I'm not really proud of that but it's also part of the aesthetics as well which is kind of one of those things you kind of don't really want to have to worry about oh I didn't realize oh I'm hoping this didn't happen to everybody's now damn but can you see those uh an oily kind of a mark on my on the, oh, you can see it better on the back so something must have leaked or i think i know what it was i'll show you in a minute actually i'll double check yeah it's definitely that um because it's on the outside of the box didn't realize that that was an issue anyhow so we've also made these beautiful bath salts um, and they've got Epsom salts, magnesium salts, um, probably bicarb, a whole bunch of lavender flowers, cornflower flowers, and these beautiful essential oil blend. It's, it's a very beautiful bath salts. Um, very, um, <sighs> like deeply relaxing, I guess is what. I didn't actually end up sealing these. I just, because... A lot of people when they make these kind of products probably seal them and then when they open they just rip, tear it off by these little little things but they come so you can i guess wet that to seal it after you've made the product but i didn't bother sealing it because it's, it's not really i mean it does have the it's got the sealing kind of thing on it so it wouldn't matter but I can't remember what I put in this now, but it smells amazing. Maybe myrtle? 
I'll tell you in a minute anyway. So made these beautiful, beautiful bath salts, which I think is just a really nice addition to the um, the box and what you know. It's, it's a very like a bathroom box, I guess. Like you know, you've got your soaps, your bathroom steamer, your bath salts, and also, and I'm pretty sure this is what spilled over into the box this beautiful uh, body scrub now I'll open this up and unfortunately I'm, I'm not really a chemist so, so it's quite runny and I can't tip it to show you but you can see all like the shea butter in, in there that's kind of mixed in with other oils that we've put in there so it smells amazing um, and you just have to kind of use something I should have probably put a paddle pop stick to go with it so people could you know really mix it up but um it's got both sugar and salt so it's very balanced um and it, it yeah there's a lot of um like liquid sitting on the top which is obviously the oils and the yeah it didn't um i thought by putting a lot of the shea butter in it might have hardened so i will definitely have to um you know get better at making a, a scrub formula i'm not really i don't really mind i've got another couple of scrubs that i've purchased in the past that are natural scrubs one's a coffee one um with with sugar and the other ones are a combination of salt and sugar which is where i kind of got the idea for both because it keeps that harmony i was like oh yeah why do you have to choose one you can do both um and so yeah I, and when i used that one it was really luxurious on my skin as well and so i thought oh i'll give it a go and it actually was like really nice and creamy and i thought by putting the shea butter in and mixing it up it would actually kind of get a little bit um more like thicker but it didn't really get too thick it just foamed up with the shea butter when i mixed it so i'm kind of you can see the shea butter throughout, like you can see the little white, you know, threads of shea butter throughout, but because there's still the coconut oil and the essential oils sitting on top, it just does need a mix, which I think is what leaked out, because I don't think these are actually um, watertight seals, so that's kind of one of those issues that you have to work with when you're doing packaging. And last but not least, we also put into the box, and these were made by the boys as well. Um, we made a whole bunch of these uh, beautiful natural um, diffuser balls, and they're just like they're just unpolished wood balls. They're just very raw, and these cute little bottles that have got um, a bit of witch hazel. Um, I'm not sure if I put water or if I put vodka actually and the essential oils you can see floating on top there and you just like mix it up and then take that little lid off and then you can put some onto the ball just drop 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 on those three balls and then you've got yourself a really nice diffuser that you can put in the car or you can put it in your office you can put it anywhere you want really so anywhere that you want to smell good and and yeah so that's a really what i i thought was a really beautiful christmas kind of aroma box like bathroom box aroma, bathroom aroma box so there you go um oh it's too hard to lift it up to the camera otherwise it'll all fall out so um but yeah so and then inside the box um, I actually put this really cool little um, A4 printout of what we call the Handmade Christmas Aroma Box. So it's got all of the ingredients of the soap. It's got the ingredients of the shower steamers. It's got uh, body scrub um, ingredients and bath salts and the bead diffuser. So um, yeah, I really quite bought that oh so let me tell you what the essential oils are that i put into the soap i put in vanilla lime orange and citrus fresh very beautiful in the shower steamers we had two blends one had christmas spirit pine northern lights black spruce 
four. The other one had Stress Away, Christmas Spirit, and Peppermint. Both smell amazing, by the way. These blends are beautiful. I must have just had so much fun, like, playing with all the oils. And I, I think there's something about perfumery that I actually really enjoy to try and get the different depths of aromas happening. It's just such a, a joyful, fun experience. And I love playing with essential oils like that, too. So... If you kind of like that kind of thing, I'm pretty sure you'll love essential oils as well. Um, I, I have one of the ones we gifted last night to one of the ladies who's a genuinely gorgeous soul. Um, she, um, I mean, they all are in their own way, but like, you know, just I feel like she's just really special, you know. Um, and she was just like, wow, it smells amazing, you know. And... Uh, she actually compliments on how I smell all the time, which I'm always using the oils neat. I'm like always giving myself massages. I'm using them as perfumes. I'm using them as, you know, emotional reasons or, you know, the benefits that they give. Um, you know, I just, I love essential oils for all the different variety of reasons. They kind of like tick a lot of boxes in my life. <laughs> and so, yeah, moving on to the body scrub. I put in that um, sacred sandalwood, which is quite an expensive essential oil. Um, and I really think that, like, if we're going to put stuff on the body, like, it's like I feel like it's a sacred experience. Like, I love a body scrub. It kind of makes me feel like I'm, I'm loving my body. So when I'm like, you know, wanting to exfoliate or I'm trying to, you know, improve my skin. I really, really, really love a body scrub for that reason. So I wanted to put in like really good skin oils as well, not just the beautiful aroma, but also good skin oils. So sacred sandalwood, endoflex, patchouli, nutmeg, ginger, bergamot, cinnamon, uh, joy essential oil, and lang lang. So they also have an element of Christmas aroma as well, hence the nutmeg, ginger, and um, cinnamon. They're all the spicy smells of Christmas. The bath salts, um, I was right, it's lavender and lemon myrtle and the bead diffuser. I don't know if I put the essential oil blend. <laughs> um, I can't even remember what I put in there now. So that's like something to, <laughs> to have to guess, I guess. <laughs> I wish I could remember what that blend was that I put in there now. Oh, I may have just put in one. I may have just chosen to put in I think I may have chosen two essential oil bones. Maybe one had stress away and maybe one had oh thieves. I'm pretty sure I, I just switched it up. I made like half and half and just put whatever in each box and whoever was supposed to get one got, got that one because we didn't put all the cards onto the boxes until the end. So just like happy Christmas, thank you for all the support support throughout the year. We appreciate you. And so that was really um, something that came from the whole family we all put effort into that and it's a very beautiful um, box to be able to you know gift to people that we appreciate so I definitely had gratitude in the heart in fact that would have been a really nice bone to put in there as well I should have thought of that some gratitude essential oil so um, but yeah so the beautiful box I had one left over um, I have no one in mind yet and I was considering doing it as some kind of a raffle maybe um, but I, I'm sure I'll find somebody who is deserving of this beautiful box um, to enjoy for their own um, personal use and yeah so I'm just I just want to do a generally quick video because 20 minutes for me is generally a quick video um, I like to talk a lot and I can go into the 30 and 40 minutes very easily so <laughs> I'm going to keep it short here um, if there's any recipes that um, you would like I, I forget to go over the oils of the soaps oh well I'll do that <laughs> other time maybe uh, but if you've got any questions about those oils in the soaps then um, maybe just uh, ask in the questions or um, send me an email and I'll flick it over to you and yeah, it's a most beautiful soap. I, I'm just like loving my skin being very, very soft right now. And yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with the result of what the soap is. So 
if you're into making your own skincare products or hair care products or any kind of beauty products in general um, that have essential oils um, essential oils are such a beautiful um, contributing piece of a puzzle for like home um, essentials I would say like just being like you know being a mom being a woman like you know just for every single aspect that you could think of like you know even while I'm doing my uni I made myself um, the essential oil clarity um, with some coconut oil in a roller ball and put the clarity on then I did use my cricket for that and I love it when I feel like I'm just like oh things are so stressful I'm just like I just need to focus so clarity is a good one it smells so beautiful it's like got the aroma of basil in it and basil is such a clarity type of oil it just is like whew, cuts through everything so you know if you like making those kind of things um, and you have yet got yourself a Young Living uh, Essential Oils Wholesale account, let me help you and I'll hook you up and we can work together and make a plan of what you would like to do with them for yourself and yeah, go from there. So yeah, definitely reach out and I'll talk to you soon. Or you can head over to my website, um, inlinedwithessentialoils.com. I'm not quite sure if I can remember. I think it's just .com because I've got another website, which is .com.au, and I always get them mixed up. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys have the most beautiful day and or evening. I'm in evening now, um, and I'll see you in the next video. So, if you like this video, if you love that idea of giving out a gift box, I think it's a good idea to start in like end of September. So early October so you've got October and November for the soap to cure it's a good like to leave a good 12 weeks of curing um and yeah uh maybe not this Christmas but maybe next Christmas or if you want to do it for some other reason then you know it's always nice to get a nice little gift box like that and if you would like a gift box like that I'm more than happy to source what is required to fix up some of those items and um yeah send one out to you we can work out a price point and um yeah if there's i, I don't have any soap left so it would have to be a 12 week out project do you know what i mean so <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching and talk to you soon bye for now